Yeah, we covered, you know, learning all different styles of music and playing them authentically. Um, aside from that, learn how to do everything that's required of you as a bass player. Um, again, all this applies to being a freelance working bass player, not necessarily being an artist. When you're an artist, when you're a solo artist, you do, you know, what you feel. You, you know, you play what you hear in your head, and obviously that's a, that's a different thing. Um, I do that as well, obviously. I, you know, I try to separate that from being a working musician. You know, being a working musician, you're, you're a chameleon. You're trying to, you know, give people what they want, what they want to hear. You're trying to be, uh, you know, be the bass player that fits into every situation. And, you know, when you're a solo artist, um, you know, you, you want your own voice. You want to play the music that you hear in your head. And I, I think that's important for all of us bassists, you know, those who are trying to work and get gigs and make money. Um, I think we all need to have solo projects. Um, you know, just to kind of keep your artistic soul satisfied, you know? Because otherwise, if you're, if you're not doing anything original, if you're not doing your own music or playing in your own original band, I mean, even if you don't make money doing that, a lot of us don't make money doing our solo projects. We just do it, yeah, just to uh, keep that artistic flame burning, you know? Um, otherwise, you know, music just becomes a craft, a job, you know? And none of us want that, you know? None of us got into it for that.